ICTV ขอเสนอรายการใครที่มีหูให้เขาได้ยิน
And this wave comes about every 10 to 15 years. And each time it comes, it lasts for about five years. And that's the time where you've got to jump into the river and you just got to flow with God. And that river of God is going to take you places that you've never been to before. So today I'm going to talk to you and prepare you for revival that is about to hit your life. Because I believe if you're sitting here in this church today, it is a divine purpose. You are not here by chance, but you are here because you are going to be a carrier for the next season to come. Say amen, everybody. Amen. Let me tell you, it's an awesome thing to be a carrier. I was one of those people sitting where you were sitting 15 years ago. Actually, 20 years ago. And I got hit by the power of God. And it changed my life. And I'm standing here today from the result of that revival. Because you see, people that truly have had an encounter with God do not play church. They are the church. They don't play church. They don't come in and just sing songs. And they don't just come to church to go to meetings. But they are a part of a living organism. About 20 years ago, I had a five-month encounter with God. And my five-month encounter with God happened every single night. And let me tell you, it was awesome. So I'm just going to give you a little idea of what the encounters felt like and how the steps of revival began to take place in my life. And any one of you sitting here, you can have it too. It's up to your hunger level. How much do you want God? That's the question. How much do you want God? If you want God this much, that's how much of God you're going to get. If you want God this much, that's how much of God you're going to get. If you want God this much, that's how much of God you're going to get. If you want to drown in Him, that's how much of God you're going to get. It's up to you. Nobody is going to force you to drink any more water than you can drink. But if you want to finish up that glass, finish it up. And God will give it to you. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter how much education you have. Let me tell you, it doesn't even matter what a terrible, downright sinner you used to be either. Because when you come under the blood of Jesus Christ and the finished work of the cross, you begin new and you are a new creation in Christ. Amen. So you can become a vessel of honor. You can become a vessel that God can pour out from. Any one of you, Today, you could be sitting out there. In two seconds, if God touches you, bam, and says, I've called you to the nations. If he's called you, you can do it. He will give you all the ability to do what he's called you to do. Lord, send your fire, I pray. Holy Spirit, we ask for your fire, Lord. We ask for your fire to come upon this church and this people. We ask for your fire, Lord. Baptize us in your fire, Lord. Lord, we ask for your fire. 
Let your fire fall on this place, Lord. Let us never be the same. Let your fire fall on all of the people that are sitting here, including myself, Lord. Let the fire fall. Let your fire fall on their life, Lord. Lord, I pray for your fire to come, to come upon your people, Lord. To come upon your people. I was living in the world at one time in my life. I had already received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. This was in 1992. I had already received the baptism of the Holy Spirit and I had already spoke in tongues. So I was filled with the Holy Spirit. I had already received the baptism of the Holy Spirit by 1992. And I can remember my experience with the Lord when receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I remember I was in a huge church. It was about 3,000 people. At that time before then, I was uh, what you would call a Presbyterian girl. I went to a church that played hymnals. And I can remember in the church, this is before I got the baptism of the Holy Spirit. This was in about 1982, and I attended a church, and they would play their music, and it would be like, hum, 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 hum. you know, very hymnal, very quiet. Nobody did anything, you know, no wild singing. Everybody just sang, la la la, very quiet. And I said, Oh God, I don't know. When I read the Bible, it doesn't look like this. And I'm falling asleep and I'm doing everything that I can to stay away. And I don't think I'm going to come back here because you're not there. And I said, I'm sorry, God. I love you, but I don't love this church. And I left in 1982. And I didn't go back to church until 1986 until one old woman came up to me. She wasn't old, she was a friend of mine, a lady who met me and loved me and prayed for me to come into the kingdom. And she said, she said, Tug, a southern accent, okay, she had a southern accent. She said, Tug, I think you should come to this church with me. So I said, I don't know about going to church these days anymore. And she goes, and I, she goes, but you gotta come to this church, it's a really, really nice church. So I said, well, what do you mean? What kind of a church is it? And she goes, it's a real fun church. And I go, fun? You know, that word got me, fun? And then suddenly, I go, okay, let's check out this fun church. So we made an appointment to meet with each other Sunday morning at the church. And so on that Sunday, I walked up to the church. And walk, by the time I started getting closer and closer to the front entrance of the church, oh, I feel something. Woo, I feel something. I don't know what this is, but I sure feel it. And I opened the door. And the moment I opened the door, boom, I could feel the presence of God. That's how church is supposed to be. When you walk into the church, you expect that church to be on holy ground. You know? So those coming into the church, you should expect it to be on holy ground when you come in here and set your behavior right before God. Amen? Amen. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt. Yes. You gotta fear God. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. If you wanna be wise, that's why only wise men came to Jesus. If you wanna be wise, Fear the Lord, because that's what the Bible says. 